Let's make some honey glazed salmon bites. Now, before we get started, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give your girl a thumbs up. I'm telling you right now, this meal is so quick and easy, but delicious. This is gonna be one of your faves. So I'm starting off with my salmon first. It's clean, it's dry. I'm gonna start by just cutting it down the middle and then, oh, y'all, I was trying to do everything in front of you, but I don't have that much room. I need a new cutting board. Ugh. But anyways, so you wanna cut it down the middle and then you wanna cut it into like little chunk bite-sized pieces. We'll just keep it like that, about that size. So next, I'm going to put everything in the bowl just to make it easier to season. I start off with some olive oil. Then we're going to get right into the seasonings. I'm using the blend. It has salt, pepper, garlic, and I eyeball everything. Do you guys measure out your seasonings or do you just eyeball it? Let me know in the comments. Next, we're gonna add in the Creole seasoning. They have original, and I feel like they have a spicy one too. I, I don't know, but this is the one that I use. Then lastly, let's add in some paprika. You know how that go. Now let's go ahead and mix all of this up. I am using my hands. My hands are clean and I'm cooking for my family. Growing up, I've never seen my parents uh, put on gloves to cook. Like if that's what you wanna do, that's your business. But um, let me know in the comments, do y'all put gloves on to cook for your family? Just let me know. <laughs> When I said I don't measure the seasonings, um, this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking to make sure I can see the seasonings. It's nicely coated, all of that. So next, I went ahead and got my pan ready. I'm adding that Kerrygold um, herb and butter. It has a really good flavor, y'all. Like this goes good with everything like chicken, seafood, all of that. Let's go ahead and get this in the pan. I'm gonna go ahead and move it around a little bit. You know, you wanna get it cooked evenly on every side. And I do like my salmon well done, y'all. Well done. Let's get started on the glaze. So I'm gonna take um, a half a cup of brown sugar, one squirt of the minced garlic. Now, if you wanna take fresh garlic and mince it yourself, go ahead. <laughs> Add in some soy sauce, about that much. And then the star of the show is the honey. I add a lot of honey. And I only add a little bit of soy sauce because I don't want it really salty. So I'm going to add like a lot of honey in there. And I'm sorry I don't measure. I just eyeball it. And then I stir it up and add a little bit of water too. Um, just depends on the consistency you want. If you want it thicker, then don't add any water. Now, I already told y'all that I like my salmon well done. Like, I like the brown, the little brown spots on top. <laughs> so, once you get your salmon cooked to your liking, you're going to go ahead and pour that glazed sauce that we just made over it. Look at that. So beautiful. So good. Okay, so let's get started on the sides. Now for red potatoes, do y'all leave the skin on or off? I took my skin off because my family be having a, a fit. I cut them up, I boiled them, and then these are pretty much done. I'm gonna take my masher and mash them. And then we're gonna add in the carry gold, the rest of that um, carry gold butter and some heavy whipping cream, y'all. Now, major key for the mashed potatoes, use a hand mixer. I'm telling you, a hand mixer will leave your mashed potatoes so smooth. I mean, no lumps, no clumps, no none of that, y'all. Silky smooth. Now, let's get to the broccoli. Um, I used fresh broccoli, and I'm using this Goya salad and vegetable seasoning, and I add some black pepper. I love this um, Goya vegetable seasoning. So good, y'all. And we're going to go ahead and simmer it. I just add a little bit of water to the pot. That's all you need. Uh, I don't like my broccoli super, super soft. Like, I still want a little bit of a crunch, you know? Okay, so the meal is complete. And I'm just looking over this masterpiece. But let's go ahead and plate this meal. I was trying to plate this really pretty for y'all. But then look, this little salmon bite wanted to roll away. But I got it together, put it back up there, added some more glaze. And then boom, look at that. I'm telling you, 10 out of 10, your family will ask for this every single week. Now, if you're um, watching your, your carbs, you can use sweet potatoes, um, cauliflower rice. It's so many options, girl. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up and comment down in the section below. And let me know what you think. All right, y'all. Bye.